So this Jesus, he's the key. He can open this door so I can finally step into my destination, into the life I deserve. He can help you. He will change your life forever. Trust him. Holy Ghost Nuggets. That's the title of this series. I've made it together with the Holy Ghost to bless you, to give you an abundant life. Please watch till the end and be blessed. Help! I'm suffocating. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. What's happening? I wake up and I look around. Where am I? It's dark. Oh, I'm lying in my bed and it's night. But what has happened here? So I, I get out of my bed. I start searching through the house. Maybe something happened. I don't know. When I tell my wife what happened to me, she tells me you are exaggerating. She calls me a stress chicken or a drama queen. I don't know what even what that word means, but I'm really a cool guy. I have everything under control. But of course it's dangerous to contradict your wife, at least not too often. It's not good for a healthy marriage and you want to eat some food that you like. So it's not wise to contradict your wife too often. And maybe I have to lose some weight. I know I have something here. Yeah. Well, exercise more, eat healthier and lose some weight then. Then I will snore less and then I will not have this feeling that I'm suffocating from time to time. Uh, now this feeling of suffocating, this terrible sensation, I have had it for years before I knew Christ. As long as I remember, I had this feeling that something was pressing me down like there was a, a big heavy blanket pressing me down. I don't know how to express it. It was not literally something, but I think mentally something in my mind. It was like there was a big fog in my mind and I could not think. And it was a terrible sensation, a terrible feeling for many, many years. And I wanted to get rid of this terrible feeling. I wanted to have answers. So I visited this uh, psychiatrist or and later on a psychologist. But if you have ever been to such a, such a session, well, they press you even deeper into this mess. Probably their intentions were well, were good, but uh, not for me. And to be honest, I think they themselves need a psychiatrist. For a while, I tried it with uh, booze, liquor, you know, drinking or partying. In that time, we had disco and funk. For a few hours, I forgot my problems. I felt great, but the next morning I felt even more terrible. So this is not the solution. This will not give me freedom, the freedom I'm yearning for. So I realized this is not the solution. And my soul was yearning, was seeking for answers. I didn't know it then, but now I realize that my soul, who I really am, not my body, but inside of me, the real me, the real Dwight was seeking for redemption. I didn't know that word. I don't know how to describe it with other words. And one day I was invited by this person to visit his church. I didn't want to visit the church for the church, me and the church. But after a while, stop bothering me. I will visit your church. So this Sunday morning, I went to this church. I even had to wake up early on my Sunday morning. I have to wake up early. I didn't know what to expect in a church. The only church I knew was from television and that was a boring, irrelevant place for me. But the moment I stepped into this church, I realized these people, they have a real joy. Not the joy I have with other things, but this is real, this is genuine. So I uh, talked to a few people and this person, he showed me a Bible. I didn't know how to read a Bible. So such a complicated book for me. And it was this verse and it says, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened. So if I ask, seek and knock. So this Jesus, he is the key. He can open this door so I can finally step into my destination, into the life I deserve, into a life of fulfillment, of dignity. Is this Jesus? Is he the key to this life? So I started seeking and knocking for I knew 
not with my mind, I couldn't grasp it, I didn't understand it, but with my soul, I was seeking. I knew this is the key, I have to do this, then I will find this real life. And one day, one day, April 22nd, 1992, I met Jesus, he came into my life. That's a whole story for another time. But my life completely changed. It was like I could breathe again. It was like this burden was lifted from my shoulders. Then I was 31 years old and now I'm 60. Yes, I know I'm still a handsome guy. I look very pretty, thank you. But I think my heavenly age is not 60, it's 29. In heaven, I'm 29 years old because that was the day I started to live. And now I have life. I know I am welcome on this earth. There is a place for me in this universe because Jesus came into my life. And as a newborn Christian, I started to read my Bible. I started to pray. Those are the things you have to do when you're a newborn Christian and you want to grow. And one day I stumbled upon this verse in the Bible, Acts 3, 19. Therefore, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. I repeat, therefore repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Now, when I came to Christ, when I met him, when my life was turned upside down, I didn't know the Bible. It was like God was now explaining me what happened then. For I realize now that many times things just happen. And later on, God wants you to understand it. He's explaining you what happened then at that moment in that time. A Bible translates the same sentence as recovery of breath. It's like you cannot breathe, like you are choking, not uh, literally, but mentally in your spirit. It's like you have asthma or you are choking in something. And then when Jesus comes into your life, he says, now I will help you to breathe again. It's like he fills your lungs with heavenly oxygen, with his air. Times of refreshing. Some years ago, my body didn't keep any food I could drink, but everything came out here or somewhere else. And after a few days, I was exhausted. I was tired. I had no energy. And then I saw this apple. I said, well, let me try this apple. Maybe, maybe I took a bite and I felt this apple, this juice, this apple in my body. I felt every drop of it. And it was like my body got energy again. I got strength and my eyes started to shine. When Jesus came into my life, my years of refreshing started. And when you are thirsty, you come to Jesus. He gives you the living water. It's not like alcohol, liquor, when you drink it, you have joy for a few hours, or you take some medication or some drugs, and you manipulate your brain and your feelings. No, with Jesus, you get the genuine living water. It will give you real joy, and it is lasting, it is forever. What is my Easter? Easter is celebrated by millions of Christians all over the world. And I know Easter is the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. But for me, when I see Jesus on the cross, for me, it's the day that he came into my life, that my life was completely changed. That's the real Easter for me. Maybe you feel like there is a cloud of darkness, something is pressing you down, and you want to get rid of this feeling. You wonder, there must be life. This is not the life I deserve. Well, Jesus, he is the way. He can help you. Maybe you knew Jesus many years ago, but you drifted away. Something happened. Maybe you are disappointed. Or you don't know who Jesus is. And you are wondering, this religious figure from a long time ago, how can he change my life? Well, neither did I. I didn't understand it. But he can. He can help you. He will change your life forever. Completely lasting. Trust him. My friend, right now, I want to pray with you that you will ask for a way out of this mess 
in your life, and Jesus will give it to you. I pray that you will seek Him and that you will find Jesus like I found Him or He found me one day that He will find you in Jesus' name. I pray that you will start knocking on the doors of heaven and they will be opened for you and will come into your life. I pray that you will get dignity, that you will get a purpose, that you will get joy, that you will get all the tools, all the things you need to make it in this life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is waiting for you. He wants to find you. He wants to give you His breath, times of refreshing. Be blessed and stay blessed. If you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe. Thank you.